Look up at the night sky. Every tiny point of light, every flickering star is actually a sun. Some, like our own, are calm and steady. Others are monsters burning so hot they could tear entire solar systems apart. And some are ghosts, long dead, but their light is still racing through the cosmos, finally reaching us. If you think the sun is big, let me introduce you to UI Scuti, a true titan among stars. This behemoth is so vast that if we swapped our sun for it, its surface would swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and keep going all the way past Jupiter. You could fit over five billion suns inside it. But not all stars grow this large. Some, like Sirius, the brightest star in our night sky, are just slightly bigger than the sun, but burn far hotter. Others, like red dwarfs, are small, dim, and will outlive our sun by trillions of years. The biggest stars aren't always the heaviest. Imagine something the size of a city, but with the mass of an entire star. That's a neutron star, the collapsed heart of a dying giant. A single teaspoon of its material would weigh as much as a mountain on Earth. The nearest sun beyond our own is Proxima Centauri, just 4.2 light years away. That means if you somehow traveled at the speed of light, 300,000 kilometers per second, it would still take you over four years to get there. But most of the stars you see are far, far more distant. Some are thousands, even millions of light years away. And that means something incredible. Many of the stars you see tonight no longer exist. Their light has been traveling for so long that by the time it reaches us, the star itself may have exploded in a fiery supernova, leaving only darkness behind. So when you step outside and stare at the night sky, remember, you're not just looking at stars. You're looking at millions of distant suns, each with their own planets, their own histories and their own destinies. Some may even have worlds like ours orbiting in just the right place for life to exist.